Hey girlfriend, welcome back. My name is Kobe and today we're doing a Valentine's Day get ready with me because Valentine's Day is coming up. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor. And if you wanna see how I got this look, keep on watching. Okay, we're getting started with hair first. You guys don't have to do your hair first, but this is the order of the way I like to get dressed. I like to do my hair first. I feel like it takes the longest, and if my hair is messed up, I'm not going. So <laughs> I would rather do my hair first, then do my makeup, so I have time to go back and fix my hair if I don't like it. So for hairspray, which every girl needs hairspray in their life, I don't care what anyone tells you, you need hairspray. This is the Pantene Air Spray. It's an alcohol-free hairspray, and if you have weave extensions, clip-ins, sew-ins, wigs, anything, you need this. There's no alcohol in it, so when you spray it on your hair, it will not pull the hair in your head out. It will not get it clumpy and sticky and dry and pull it out, so that's a must. Of course, my hair is by Simply Lux by J Hair. I have her tagged below and then Hair Edity did my hair in Nashville. Have, for reference, I have a 16 inch closure, then 16, 18, and a 20 bundle. So because my hair is so fresh and right when I straighten my hair, it's hard for my hair, even my real hair, to hold curls. So I use a dry shampoo. This is from Dove. This helps with create volume and fullness in your hair. And I will say that this hair is really sleek. It's really shiny. And like the volume's there, but this gives it that oomph, right? I'm using a one inch barrel from Conair. So then I brush the halves out and then I take take a bigger piece of that I'll take about like a size like that out and then I will clip the rest I'm just going to show you how I do a f like one or two on each side and then I'm going to speed through it and so I take a little bit of the dry shampoo and spray it really quick just like that so then I take my barrel I want my curls to go away from me and I want like voluminous or no voluptuous voluminous one of them words <laughs> I want a lot of volume and I want big bouncy curls so I'm going to take my barrel wrap it around twice and hold it and then I take it all the way to the end when my hair is shorter I like to do the um like bends and then the ends straight but not so much when it's long I haven't tried it when it's long in a while so maybe I'll try it this go around but yeah so I'm going to show you how I do it on this side, and then I will speed through it. Let me take it down, just like that. This is what it looks like. And then I take my air spray, spray it, and then I take it and bunch it up, just like that. Not bunch it. I get it in the curl that it's in. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, and then take a hairpin. I like the bigger ones. I do have the smaller ones. Those are kind of hard to work with on a lot of hair, but I like the, sm the bigger ones. And then I just pin it up.
So now let's move on to the makeup. So first thing is always first. We're going to start with our LA Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. And I'm going to put it all on my dark spots. And so, because I do my eyebrows after my foundation, I like to carve them out top and bottom. So carve them out top with a, con a concealer that's my skin tone and then bottom with a highlight shade. Okay, Pro and Fawn, like I said, OG. And, oh, well, let me put this under my brows. So I carve my brows out. So you have a guide to work with and it also adds a little, you know, highlight to that brow bone. So it accentuates it. And I still want my inner corner to be bright regardless, regardless of the shadow. So I'm using the Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray from Morphe on my E46 brush. This is the brush that I always use. cautious with my hairline because the la that's the last thing I need is for it to be messed up okay so we're moving along and we're gonna go in with the Maybelline shine free powder this is in the color medium I need another one but this is my go-to translucent powder and I set down my uh, concealer. Let me tell you something. If you're gonna be wearing makeup for a long period of time, if you're gonna be outside in the elements, all of that, you this trick, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will be majorly surprised at how well your makeup stays on after you do this, right? I'm using this old Morphe palette. So I'm just gonna go in with these two, this like caramely brown shade and this copper red shade. I'm gonna go in with these two to set a base on my eyelid. These are honestly my go-to shades. Like if I just need something on my uh, eyelid, I'm gonna take this burnt beat up modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm gonna take the color um, red ochre. very center brown shade. Next, I needed a little, needed a little dimension. So still in that 35O palette, I'm gonna take this like grayish. Is universal. I like that. <laughs> okay, so the best way I find to put this glitter, it's like, it's this pink shimmery shade. We're gonna put it in the inner corner of our eye. And I find that the best way to do this is obviously to spray your brush And I like to do it to where it looks like it's like shooting stars, like it's shooting into my eyeball. Okay, so it's time for foundation and I'm using the new Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Okay, so you guys saw me do my 
full base in my soft glam makeup tutorial which is my last video that I posted so I'm gonna speed through all of my base and then we'll pick back up when we get to the lashes and brows I am gonna do dedicated videos to both how to do lashes and how to do brows and all of the products that I'm using in this video will be in the description box below so grab your drink or whatever you're sipping on and get ready with me So we've got no lashes, lashes. I'm using, okay, I can't say these, but they're from Amazon. I'll link them below. Okay, so now onto my brows. I'm using the uh, Chow, I can't see this, the Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown to give my eyebrows some color because they're a little, they're on the ashy side. No brows, brows. <laughs> I use, I also use the dip brow pomade in ebony, <sighs> kind of indifferent about my eyebrows. So we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. I'm taking the Morphe. This is just a Morphe liquid lipstick in the color Bloodshot. This is actually my favorite color from them. And I'm gonna on my lips. Then I take, my favorite red lipstick from Too Faced. This is their melted matte lipstick in the color Lady Balls. And we're gonna go in the center with this. Hey y'all, so this is the final look. I will put a full body picture right here. Um, I'm so excited for this look. I think it looks so good. So nice and, you know, valentines -y, right? Okay, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor. You know how it goes. We want everybody to join the girlfriends. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.